Hi guys, this is Jacob Syriac here. I'm gonna do my be presenting my physio advertisement. And more specifically, it's about how Lyrica affects uh, patients with myofibralgia. All right, well, let's get started. So what drug is in Lyrica? Uh, the drug that is in Lyrica is pregabalin. Uh, Lyrica is just a brand name for pregabalin. Uh, pregabalin is an analog of a neurotransmitter that is structurally related to GABA or an inhibitory central nervous system neurotransmitter that also possesses pain relieving actions. Mm -hmm. Even though it is related to GABA, it does not bind to GABA structures. Uh, pregabalin is often confused for being a narcotic or an opioid. However, it is classified under an anti, as an anticonvulsant or a mood stabilizing medication. Um, so anticonvulsants work by calming hyperactivity in the brain in various ways. For this reason, some of these drugs are used to treat epilepsy, prevent migraines, and treat other brain disorders, as well as help with pain relief. Right. So what is myofibralgia? Myofibralgia is a disease characterized by chronic pain, stiffness, and tenderness of muscles, tendons, and joints without detectable inflammation. Usually, the body releases endorphins, which block transmissions of pain signals. But in people with myofibralgia, this system is kind of faulty. The reason it is super faulty is due to the reduced number of opioid receptors in the brain. Opioid receptors act as a docking site for where endorphins bind. Without these receptors, endorphins can't bind to anything and therefore block out the pain. So how does this drug work and why does it treat myofibralgia? Uh, Pregabalin acts as an antagonist or a substance that interferes with or inhibits the physiological action of voltage-gated calcium channels and specifically bind to alpha-2 delta subunits to produce pain-relieving actions. Uh, to get a little bit more de in depth, by blocking the voltage-gated calcium channels and preventing calcium ions from entering into the cell, depolarization cannot occur in the cell, making the cell membrane negative and therefore harder to start to action potential. So without depolarization or positively charging the cell membrane, action potentials can occur. Without action potentials, signals being transmitted by neurotransmitters, neurotransmitters such as pain can be transmitted back to the pain, a brain, helping to relieve pain in the affected areas of the body. So why might this drug cause swelling in the hands and feet? Short answer is hydrostatic pressure, but I'm gonna get into the, but if you, but the detailed answer is Pretty much pregabalin causes uh, swelling in the hands and feet due to it acting as an antagonist of the calcium channel in the vasoculture. So what does it mean? Pretty much it means it causes vasodilation or the dilation of blood vessels. It is similar to the mechanism of calcium channel blockers used to treat hypertension or high blood pressure. Blocking voltage-gated calcium channels prevents depolarization and starting action potentials. Without an action potential forming, the cell won't create a signal to release uh, glutamate nor epinephrine or any other kind of uh, neurotransmitter as we saw in the last slide. Uh, so this is important because less nor epinephrine being released causes the alpha receptors to not be activated, which prevents the smooth arterial muscles from contracting and instead leads to vasodilation. Due to the arterial vasodilation increasing, intercapillary pressure increases, which leads to an increase in hydrostatic pressure or the pressure that drives fluid out of the capillaries. Due to this increase in hydrostatic pressure in the capillaries, fluid will begin to leak into the interstinum or the fluid-filled space existing between structural barriers in the body, such as the cell wall or the skin. This fluid buildup in the space is what leads to swelling or edema. Uh, edema usually occurs in the hands or feet specifically due to gravity pushing blood toward the lower extremities of the body, which adds, which adds on to the intercapillary pressure from vasodilation as well. Uh, these two forces cause a buildup of hydrostatic pressure, which adds to fluid 
of the which adds to flu buildup in the interstitum space and causes swelling. Thank you for your time and have a nice day.